Hey guys, if you don't know Ray, I already done a face reveal because I already have a hundred subscribers, and here's mom. And uh, today I'm gonna be telling her about my insane dream. And mom, guess what? My uh, my first ever face reveal was about a week ago. Your what? My first ever face reveal was about a week ago. What do you find being on YouTube? Sure. Here's mom. Hi. All right. Got my mac and cheese, and then when we're on the road, I'm going to tell you guys and mom about the, my dream. Uh, I already told you guys about my dream on uh, Level Maker, but uh, I hadn't told you on YouTube yet. Uh, those of you that missed out, I'm going to tell you here in a second. Here's the nightmare, right? It's actually a nightmare, not a dream, okay? okay. So, it all started out like this. Well, a, a secondary dream came before that, but I forgot what it was about. But my nightmare started here. Okay, ready? Okay, so, I, uh, was in, uh, a dark, scary forest, like, it was moonlit, but not too moonlit, kind of like a fantasy movie or something, kind of like Lord of the Rings or something, and then, uh, and then I was, uh, started to walk down the pass, and, uh, and all of it looked pretty Colonial Williamsburg seemed, but there were very few houses, and it was in the middle of a dark pass in the middle of the woods with no, uh, uh, civilization, you know. No, that's why I'm trying to... Oh, I guess I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's fine. No, you're listening, right? Yes. Okay, so, uh, then I went down the path, and then I heard... And then, uh, I had a conscience telling me that, uh, if I enter down that path, I will hear, uh, a forever, never-ending, uh, whisper in my ear that will keep repeating the word down. And I don't know what it meant by the word down, so... When I heard it, I freaked out because I thought someone was like right behind me, but really there was nothing there. Of course, this is, a, this is a nightmare, so nothing's real, but it sure felt like it. So then uh, I looked down uh, the ditch off of the side of the path, right? And then uh, there was, uh, in down that little ditch hill, uh, was a house. And I looked in the second story, uh, there was nothing there because the window was shut, like with the shutter. So I was basically staring at the shutters for no reason. And I looked down, there was nothing there. It looked like a porch with no one that looks like they lived in the house, and that was it. Then I went to what looked like your parking lot at your apartment, except it looked a little different, and the apartments weren't the same. So I, so here's the scary part that'll make you feel like you'll even have a nightmare from me telling you it. All right. But I handle it like a pro. I don't know why, but I didn't have the urge to scream when I saw this happen. So, uh, so you know that garbage can area near your area, right? And that tree front that is down by those paths. Off the right of that, like, you know those big giant, like, telephone wires, right? Uh, in that direction, there, in that forest area, I was standing, like, uh, in between, uh, like, right, like, right in between the forest, uh, front or the forest edge and uh the garbage cans and uh so uh i was like oh this wasn't your place but the farthest distance i was from this situation was uh from the garbage cans uh those garbage disposal areas to the front of the edge of the maze right i mean the front at the edge of the uh the forest is what i mean all right so and i turn around the, and, and i expect to see nothing uh I don't remember what I was doing over there. I was told to do a task uh, over there, but I don't know what it was. And then I look over there, and then I see uh, what I saw first was a lady walking her dog uh, at the uh, behind two bushes in the forest edge. And uh, then uh, when I looked harder, it actually, you know, Centaur, right? You know, like the bull head was. It was uh, something like that. So there were two of them actually. And one of them got up, and they were, uh, they looked like human boy and girl, like a he like humans, but except their heads were replaced with cat heads. Oh, wow. And they had, like, knife holdable scythes. Like, you know what scythe is, right? Like, those really big farmer things. But, uh, no, these things were tiny. Like, they held them like knives. Oh, wow. And then, uh, they chased me at a walking speed, and for some reason I couldn't run fast enough, and they eventually caught up to me, and then killed me, but then I respawned as if I was a video game character, right where I, uh, was originally, before I died, uh, almost like as if it was like a checkpoint into a video game or something, oh, wow. and then, uh, just like they did before, they came up to me, but then I had an idea to, uh, go after them, and the girl ran away, but the boy ran away for a split second, and then turned around, and then knifed me up, and then I woke up. Did you feel the knife stuff, or? No, it's, it's it was a dream, it was a dream. Sure. I didn't feel it. 
So yeah, that was basically uh, the nightmare, everyone, that I had That's last night. What a nightmare. Pretty insane, right? Yeah. You gonna eat before it gets cold? It's not gonna get cold. Relax. I'm not gonna relax. You wanna pause that? It is unpaused. Oh, is it? It just needs to stop. It's still recording. Yeah, I know it is. What song is that recording? You want it to record? Yeah. That's oh. what it's for. It's a vlog. You know, you know what a vlog is, right? It's when you show yeah. yourself on the camera okay. and then tell about what you do and stuff. Just, uh, alright. How's your mac and cheese? Pretty good. Awesome. You had a good week? Yeah. What would you do if you were experiencing my dream? I'd want to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, here's the thing. Don't wake up during a nightmare. Here's why. You'll have uh, a sleep paralysis when you oh. wake up. In fact, I do have another uh, nightmare story about sleep paralysis, but I think I already told you that one. You did. I did? I think so. Okay, but I want to tell the viewers anyway. Uh, so, I was, like, at, at the back uh, backyard of a school, uh, like an elementary school. It looked like a really compact and close together enclosed uh, jungle gym with like scaffolding everywhere but was all colorful. I was uh, swinging on the swings then I fell off and that was about uh, the height of my uh, legs, the height of my legs, maybe a little higher. Uh, that's how high I was in the dream. And all of a sudden uh, the wind picked up and there was like a river uh, like right across from us and uh, well, us? No, me. Uh, and all the other kids were freaking out. Of course, this is a dream, so they all represent me and not anyone else, because anyone who is in your dream represents yourself. So, uh, I saw a very low, thin cloud uh, just uh, stretching along the, uh, the river. It looked like, I don't know what river, like a random river or something. And then, uh... The wind picked up till like a hundred miles per hour, and then it, it to turn like and then it went to the point where uh, I couldn't move at all, and then that's where I woke up in my middle of the sleep. But I realized I was having a sleep paralysis at that moment. But for some reason, I didn't see a creature, and I was like, you know what? Here's a better idea. Have I just close my eyes if they aren't open already? Because they might not actually be in real life. Like it was like 360 view. That's what like sleep paralysis is like. One thousand to left. Shut up, 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 Okay, whatever. Uh, just ignore this crazy spider mom. Alright, so, alright, so, uh, then, uh, I woke up and then nothing else happened. I knew it was a sleep paralysis, but except without the shadow creature, so, yeah. Oh! Oops. Mail time! Oh god, stop. <laughs> I was just doing that for comedic humor of the past. We don't want to influence that nightmare now. Where'd you get that beanie? Uh, Dillard's. Long time ago. Oh, I thought you like subscribed to like Charmix or something, the beanie boy. <laughs> You know who the Beanie Boy is, right? Charmix? You told me. Yeah, he reacts to uh, YouTube videos and stuff. How's your mac and cheese? Pretty good. It's almost as good as uh, the other kind of mac and cheese, the the Kraft mac and cheese, but this one's different. This is on the stove top. This is a different stove top. The other one, uh, my favorite one is, uh, here, I'm gonna tell you the secret recipe of how dad makes his good mac and cheese, all right? You need the craft mac and cheese. You do. You need, uh, cheese. Milk. <laughs> you need milk. You need butter. And the secret part is salt. salt. Yeah, you need salt. Extra salt. And you, need, you need to make it uh, not salty where it's gonna make you go like, mmm. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you need uh, enough salt where it'll be like, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Anyways. How big the sky is! Wait, how, of course it's big. It's just snow, I, but I don't know. Wait, really wait, when? It's today and tomorrow, but I don't. Uh. This hasn't 
haven't done it yet. So. But it's but it's not that it's 80 degrees outside. Wait, no, no it's 41. 41. Yeah, so. that's the inside temperature. Can you close the sunroof so I don't accidentally drop my window out there? I mean, drop my phone out there. Why do I keep m mashing up words together? Like I like I called my phone a window. What is wrong with my this, dyslexia? We do that all, so we're human. We mix things up all the time. It's normal. Is it considered dyslexia? Because I uh, misspell word. Well, not misspell. I know what the words That's are, but sometimes word. I uh, can't identify what that word is, and I think station. it's another word. Like sometimes I look at the word milk, and sometimes I think. That's milk. That's not just milk. Turn right before at the gas station. Well, Charmix has it. F in the chat for him. Oh. Right. So we're going. I still want them to know. Take the live. next right. Yeah, they're not going to know we live. Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause uh, the video every time I uh, tell you where we're... Well, is it okay to tell them where we're going? Just yes. not where... Okay, we're because going... by the time they see this, it'll be after the fact. It's just what would be not good is for them to know where you live because you can't... That doesn't change. Right, but I just don't want anyone to dox me like everyone dox dream. So, uh, you know what doxing is, right? Part of it. It's, uh... Doxing is, uh, like, uh... On oh the website uh like you're like someone like some hacker tracked uh, some famous person's location and they want to hunt them down or something oh. and uh, that's happening in the dream uh, and the reason why people uh, are trying to hunt him down is because he faked a, a Minecraft speed run that's not that's not a very uh, big uh, for the world actually like. For the Minecraft people, of course, because it's passionate to them, but to everyone else, they don't really care about it because it's just a speedrun. So, let me take you know what speedrun is, right? Like, you try and get through the game as quickly as possible, but the experts think they cheated a little bit, like, he had extra items on them. But I'm not sure. I think he did cheat, but he definitely doesn't deserve death. Like, people, uh, think, uh, like, people, uh, found out his real location, and some say that, uh, he's gonna get assassinated by, uh, random people soon because uh because uh he cheated on minecraft and uh people didn't like that so uh when uh if this hacker is uh has has really tracked his actual ip address then uh that means his family his life is in real danger so we gotta do something oh and then let's build my mac and cheese Oh geez, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I don't. Well, I don't want. I don't want to accidentally click the off button or the. Just click the pause button. Yep. I think Dad forgot the bar. I doubt it. Or maybe it's just not the best mac and cheese brand. This is not Kraft mac and cheese. This is a different one, but I don't know what it's called. It's important for you to eat so you can get your energy. And look, it's the police on the side of the road. <laughs> police, help, 911. <laughs> That's what everyone is like during COVID season right now. Uh, they just called cops for no reason. Talking for 14 minutes straight. Wow. It only felt like four. Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of overcast. I don't know if we're gonna be able to walk around. It's gonna start raining. We can drive there. I have a hood. Relax. Yeah, we'll once see. you. We'll see. But we will at least get there, right? But will we take the parkway? On the way back, yes. Alright. I'm not on the right road to take the parkway. It didn't take me that route. I didn't think about it. But I'll make sure we do on the way back. Yeah.
exactly. That's how I upload. That's the point. Okay. I'm just wasting everyone's time right now. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I'm just kind of bored. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun with your channel. Yeah. I came across your other channel, the first one, and I was watching you some of those mine, doing? watching your Star Wars Minecraft commercial uh, yeah. oh, wow. trailer. Oh wow! Oh wow! And your that voice was... is so different. Yeah, I know it was it's awesome to like hear <laughs> all your explanation of the trailer and your. That was such a big jump between the Amazing World Joey and more Amazing World Joey between Joey Gamer Guy and this channel. Right. Like such a big jump. This is the fourth channel. This is the fourth channel that I made. Except I'm the complete host of it and no one is hosting any other one. Is Dad know? Yeah. I revealed that to him uh, about a few months ago. I thought I'd be mad at or something because I was showing uh, Starly one of my random videos. We both laughed at it. And uh, Dad came in and he was like, what YouTube video is this? And uh, why are you showing Starly random stuff? She can't watch YouTube. And I was like, wait, oh, I thought she was because YouTube plays all the time at their house. And uh, and then uh, that's when we had a long talk about my YouTube channel. And in the end, he let me keep it. It's good. I thought you guys were talking about those things. It's important. But it wasn't like an argument or anything. No, and I'm like that. It was like a one second talk. Like it was just one line and that was it. You're like, okay, okay, I see what you're doing. You can keep your channel. That's why, that's all that happened. He turned to the room, you. said that, and then yeah, we trust you. Yeah. And the reason why he trusts me so much about me and keeping my channel is because he watches my videos every day to make sure they're good. Right. Well, and he knows you. We know you. I know you. You're a good boy. Well, how about you don't say that to the camera? It's still on. You can only call your son that is like 12 years or younger You're a, a good, good person. Boy. Okay, that's better. That's better. <laughs> that's what I would have really meant. I didn't mean it to, to be little you at all. You're right, though. It's just worthy of correction. You're not a boy. Man. Stop saying that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Done. <laughs> Cringy. Don't say that on camera. <laughs> okay. it, it's fine for me to in my generation to say it, but it's not okay for you, alright? Okay. Just say regular boomer stuff. Going to your town, right? Peace out, everyone. 